Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a postdoc McNemer test to a Cochrane's Q test using R or specifically R Studio. Uh, in a previous video I've shown you how you can perform the Cochrane's Q test in itself um, with some various different versions. Then the postdoc done test, which is an alternative to the McNemer uh, postdoc. Um, note that the McNemer post-hoc test is actually also a Cochrane's uh, post-hoc. Uh, they're the same, uh, depending on your settings. So if I'm not mistaken, it would be the same as a uh, chi-square uh, approximate uh, version with no continuity uh, correction. Now to uh, show you how this works, uh, I first need some data. So I'm going to be loading that in by pressing Ctrl Enter on this one. Uh, my data is, as you can see, 150 observations long and it shows the respondent's ID uh, and four movie cinemas in Amsterdam, Munt Movies, Tuschinski and Arena. The one indicated that the person visited that uh, specific cinema and a zero that he or she didn't. This is all fake data, by the way. So let's go to uh, the commands. The first thing we need to do is reshape this data into a long format so use the reshape command and then my data varying then the variables v names I use score for that um, then a time variable uh, which in this case would be cinema uh, times as a vector uh, add some new row names uh, might be useful and direction to set to long now it's easiest to show you what this will do, so I'm going to run this command and then show you the my data long and then sort by respondent ID. Oh. And as you can see now, for each respondent, I have four entries, uh, each of the cinemas, and then his or her score. So this first person didn't visit any of the four cinemas, which, if we look at the original, is in these four. The second person only visited Arena, so in the long version, you see 00014 for Arena. So that's a long format. Now we go back to actually performing the test. Uh, the McNemer postdoc test can be done using an exact binomial distribution. For that, you will need the package R companion. And if you like, uh, if you haven't installed it already, uh, run this command and then actually load it by using library R companion. And then you can use the pairwise McNemer and then set the X, uh, the G, uh, the block, in this case the respondent, and then as a method I'll be using for adjustment bond Ferroni, and I'm going to be using an exact test. Now if I hit Ctrl Enter, that gives me nicely the pairwise comparisons uh, of each of the cinemas, and the p value unadjusted and the p value adjusted. So in this case, movies and moons seem to be significant. If significant is considered below 0.05 and arena and Munt are significantly uh, differently um, visited. You can also use the same command uh, but then with as method uh, McNemer and in that case it will actually use the chi-square distribution and uh, but no continuity correction so I run that one and this would be the same as a post hoc um, Cochrane's Q test in itself. So um, I sometimes get a comment saying like, oh, you should be using a Cochrane's to sample pairwise comparison. Well, it's the same as this one. As you can see, the results are slightly different than before. So, uh, but still the final conclusion is the same. Only movies and Munt and Arena and Munt are significantly different from each other. Now, you if your heart is really set on using a chi-square distribution with the continuity correction, then you can use the uh, package stats. Um, I already installed it once, so I won't be running this command, but I will be running this one. And then you can use McNemer test and simply select the two variables that you want to compare. And that will actually give you the results, uh, the chi-square value, degrees of freedom as one, and then the p-value. This is an unadjusted one, so if you want to adjust that using the Bond-Ferroni adjustment, you need to know how many pairwise comparisons you'll be doing, which you can use to choose. Then the number of variables, uh, in this case four. Uh, I have five variables in my data, but the first one is uh, the respondent ID, so that's why there's a minus one here. And then I'm going to be choosing two. 
So that should give me 6. As you can see here in the global environment, indeed it's 6. And then uh, do again the McNemer test of the two variables and then uh, obtain the p-value and multiply it by that number of pairwise comparisons. And it simply does the uh, 0.019 now uh, times 6, which uh, is indeed 0.11. Uh, be careful if this becomes bigger than 1, uh, you should report it simply as 1. And that's how you can perform a post hoc McNemer test for a Cochrane's Q in uh, using uh, with R or R Studio. Thank you for watching.